These rocks don't look remarkable under white room lighting, but as you'll see, something almost magical happens when these rocks are exposed to certain frequencies of light. In this video, we'll look at these rocks under both visible light and non-visible ultraviolet light. I've placed these rocks on risers on the top shelf of my display cabinet. I cut a hole in the top of the cabinet for a shortwave UV light, and I've also installed LED lights that allow observation under different frequencies of visible light. I use this flashlight as my longwave UV light. Let's first take a look at the minerals in the rocks under longwave UV light. With the transition from white to longwave UV light, the calcite Minerals in four of the rocks fluoresce red or pink, while the willamite glows green. The highlight opal also fluoresces a bright green. The fluorite glows blue, while the shelite is dark and shows no fluorescence. The hydrozincite and wollastonite sample appears pale white. While these color changes are certainly interesting, the most dramatic fluorescence occurs with the shortwave UV light. The calcite from New Jersey glows more intensely red, while the mangano calcite changes from its longwave pink fluorescence to blue. The shelite now fluoresces a beautiful sky blue. The hydrozincite wollastonite glows purple, yellow, and blue. The mangano calcite continues to glow for about four seconds after the light is turned off. It's known that some minerals fluoresce with blue as well as ultraviolet light. To investigate this, I used two of my minerals that I know fluoresce under blue light as positive controls and the security strip on a US $20 bill as a negative blue light control. As expected, there appeared to be no effect of red or green light exposure. However, the blue light did produce clear effects on the unknown mineral and the hackmanite, plus a small amount of fluorescence in the willamite and highlight opal. An overlay of the longwave UV photo indicates that the blue light fluorescence coincided with areas of the maximum longwave UV fluorescence. Thanks for watching. I hope you've liked this video and will check out my others on my Science for Man channel.